over the past 136 days, the world has watched in horror daily the relentless attacks on Gaza. The ferocity and violence of Israel's latest military campaign against Gaza and its flouting of international law, including an order of this court, which was handed down on 26 January 2024, is the clearest indication that Israel considers itself unrestrained in its actions against Palestinians. Its actions recur with even more depravity and bloodshed, being of such a serious nature as to lead this court to find them plausibly genocidal. I remind the court that it is in our recent submissions before it, in the hearings for the indication of provisional measures in the application of the Convention and Prevention of, and Punishment of uh, the Crime of Genocide in the Gaza Strip in South Africa versus Israel, South Africa understood scored how Israel's ongoing acts and omissions in Gaza form part of a continuum of illegal acts perpetrated by it against Palestinian people uh, since the 1948 Nakba and since then the 1967 occupation. The legality of that occupation is now the subject of this matter before the court. Mr. President, the Palestinian cause is one which resonates strongly with the people of South Africa. That is because the Palestinian struggle invokes mournful memories of our own struggle against apartheid, um, segregation and oppression. Ours is an experience which aptly, ours is an experience aptly referred to by the United Nations Security Council in 1980 as a crime against the, the conscience and dignity of mankind and as being incompatible with the rights and dignity of man. It is not without a measure of irony that one notes that this painful experience of our past has enabled South Africa to make a significant contribution to the development of international law on apartheid. From this experience, a universal legal prohibition of its uh, practice emerged in the form of a peremptory norm and an international crime. The norm against apartheid has become one of the most cited norms of Jews cogents. We as South Africans sense, see, hear and feel to our core the inhumane discriminatory policies and practices of the Israeli regime as an even more extreme form of the apartheid that was institutionalized against black people in my country.